Welcome to this how-to on using Ubuntu to rescue data files. We will be going over how to download Ubuntu, then burn the rescue CD, boot into Ubuntu, and use it to grab any data files you may need. If you are currently in panic mode and want to get back some files from an operating system failure, this video is for you. If you're not in panic mode yet and have no operating system failure, uh, I still recommend making an Ubuntu rescue CD, uh, just in case that ever happens to you. Uh, it doesn't take that long, so you might as well be prepared. All you need is a blank CD, an external hard drive, and a computer that works to download the Ubuntu file. Keep in mind this trick only works for an operating system software failure. If your hard drive physically blew up, caught on fire, uh, became unreadable, or an arm smashed into the platter, this trick may not work, and you will want to get professional help to rescue your data. However, uh, if your operating system simply does not boot, continue watching. Let's get started. First, start up your favorite browser and go to this site, uh, www.ubuntu.com. And then on the main site, uh, we're going to click Download. And then here you can choose your desktop edition. Um, it, for our purposes, it doesn't matter what version uh, uh, you get. Uh, it's all going to do the exact same thing that we needed to do. So I'm just going to go with the highest version out to date, which is 9.04 at the time of this recording. Select your location, and then just click Begin Download. Uh, what you're going to want to do is save this to your desktop, um, so that way we can later burn this file onto a CD. Okay, so after that's done downloading, uh, we need to burn this ISO image to a blank CD. So launch whatever burning software you happen to use. Um, me, I use CD Burn XP, but uh, that's just me. Um, and what we're going to want to select uh, is data disk. Um, if you burn ISO image, uh, what that will do is it'll take our ISO image and convert it into another ISO image, which uh, when you try to boot into it, it, it simply won't work. So all we need to do is select data disk. And then, um, you know, just select wherever your uh, uh, download is. So for me, uh, it was located in this folder, so I'm just going to add that. Say yes. And here you can adjust your settings to whatever you feel comfortable with. It's just burning a disk. Uh, and then just say uh, burn disk. Once that's finished burning, uh, if we want to test this out to make sure that uh, this was burnt correctly, um, you just open up my computer. And uh, this was uh, the disk that was just created. Uh, you can right click on it and then click open. And when you do that, uh, you should see this. So everything was converted properly. Um, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, so this disk is actually ready to boot from. Um, I should also mention at this point, what, what we will be doing is, uh, the way this is set up is we will not be installing anything on your computer. Um, what this will do is this will set up uh, an operating system that is read only from your CD-ROM, uh, meaning that um, if you happened to, uh, after you boot up into your CD-ROM and you take it out, um, then provided your computer is still working, uh, everything would just boot as uh, it normally does. So um, unless you, uh, you know, click this or manually install anything, um, this will keep the operating system right on the CD. Okay, next place the newly created CD uh, into your computer. And then at this point, uh, if you're logged into your operating system, you're going to need to restart your computer. And if your computer is not working, uh, turn it on. Okay, at this point, you are going to need to change the boot order. And you're going to make sure that your CD-ROM boots first. Uh, because every computer is different. Um, I don't know um, um, how to do that for your computer. Um, but uh, if you change the boot order successfully, um, then this should come up. And right now, everything is being read off the CD-ROM, and we are going to choose English. And here, uh, if you want to do install Ubuntu, uh, you could do that. Uh, just keep in mind, that's not what we want to do. If you do do that, it'll wipe everything off your hard drive, potentially, depending on how you install this. Um, what we want to do is we want to try Ubuntu without any changes to your computer. And this will read uh, right off the CD-ROM. And because it is reading off the CD-ROM, um, it's going to take a while to load. This may take up to uh, five to ten minutes um, before you will actually be booted into uh, the actual OS. 
Um, so just uh, uh, be patient and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, and eventually you should get to a place uh, that looks uh, quite similar to this. This is actually the Ubuntu uh, operating system, uh, read off the CD-ROM. Um, if you did want to install at this point, you would click this button. Again, we don't want to do that. Um, all we're doing is trying to rescue files. Uh, things may seem a bit sluggish, um, and that's just because we are, again, reading off a CD-ROM. Um, provided everything is working, you could actually use uh, your uh, this uh, Firefox web browser to actually surf the internet um, and do all sorts of stuff that you would do uh, on the normal operating system uh, right from your CD-ROM. So uh, it's uh, uh, you know if your computer is not working, uh, this could work in a pinch. Okay, so uh, next what we're going to do is we are going to actually uh, plug in uh, an external hard drive. Once you plug in your external hard drive, uh, with any luck, uh, it'll auto mount. Uh, Ubuntu will automatically detect it. Um, and eventually, hopefully, uh, we will see an icon uh, pop up on the main screen. And there it is. Uh, mine just happens to be uh, named OS Backups, uh, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. This is uh, the external hard drive I just plugged in. Uh, also, uh, it's good to know that um, uh, a regular like a USB um, will also work. Um, so if you have one of those laying around, feel free to use that as well. So right now, this window that's up is my uh, actual uh, external hard drive. This is all my data in there. So for this example, uh, I'm just going to uh, create a uh, new folder and I'm just going to label it uh, demo so uh, I've created my new folder successfully and at this point uh, we we can leave this window alone and we need to actually get into our Windows uh, operating system I'm assuming that's where your files are that you need to rescue um, so if you go up to places and uh, you go to uh, computer this will bring up another window. This is kind of like if you're coming from Windows, this is kind of like my computer. So this is all of our drives and such that um, uh, are uh, able to be read. And uh, it doesn't come out and say it, um, but this drive right here is my actual Windows operating system drive. So this is, uh, this is equal to your C drive, um, if that's where you installed Windows. So when I click on this, um, we should be able to read. Oh. I can just ignore that. I got a little click happy. So right now, uh, we are actually looking into uh, my Windows operating system. Uh, and that's how easy it is uh, to get into that uh, and to uh, rescue any files that may need rescuing. So I created a demo file uh, in this directory here. I just called it uh, demo text. Um, and uh, again, you can rescue as many files as you want. So right now, uh, I'm in the actual external hard drive, um, and I'm just going to the folder that I created. Uh, now I'm back into uh, the Windows operating system, and you can just drag and drop. And it should copy over. And now that's on my external hard drive. Simple as that. Uh, I just rescued uh, any file or files that um, I before didn't have access to. Okay, once you have successfully uh, copied all the files you want to rescue, uh, simply just close out of those windows that we had open. And then on the right hand corner, you're going to see this. Um, this is to shut down the uh, operating system. And um, you can just hit shut down to speed up the whole process. And then at this point, um, the CD should automatically eject, uh, take it out. Um, and then if uh, uh, Windows or your other operating system uh, did in fact uh, work, um, you could just close the tray, uh, hit enter on the keyboard, and you should boot up um, like you normally do. So at this point, I have uh, booted back up into Windows like I normally do. Uh, remember, I just took out the CD um, and then restarted up my computer. Um, and I just quickly wanted to show you uh, that um, everything did stay uh, on the external hard drive. So this is uh, my external hard drive. Remember, I saved everything in the demo folder. I click on that, and right there is the text file that uh, I rescued uh, using Ubuntu. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.